Happening here, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. Also making spirits bright, an annual tradition for many families back on stage. Festival Ballet is once again ready to present the Nutcracker. And Michaela is there live at PPAC with an exclusive preview. Good morning, Michaela. Hey, good morning. What a picturesque Christmas scene, huh? We've got the Christmas tree to my left. We've got the snow falling behind me. And we have someone who knows Festival Ballet Providence's Nutcracker in and out. Jennifer Ritchie, you've been part of this show for many years. Many years. Uh, this is my 35th year in the Nutcracker. Wow. So. Which goes to show the longevity um, of, of a member of Festival Ballet Providence. You can start at a very young age. At the age of four. And I've uh, started with festival and remained with festival my entire career, actually. And you are taking part in a special show, uh, the 40th anniversary of the Nutcracker. Talk about I its history and, and what you've experienced as the show has grown over the years. Oh gosh, I've seen so many changes just with PPAC itself. Um, I have memories of the old days when we used to be in the basement of PPAC, <laughs> you know, getting ready. We were all crammed in one room and, um, you know, when I tell all the kids and my colleagues, you know, what it's been like and this is, you know, beautiful mm -hmm. compared to back in the day and all the different changes over the years, especially with Misha coming, you know, he re-choreographed the Nutcracker, right. um, you know, made it a little bit more of his own. Mm -hmm. um, my role um, as the Arabian, which is, um, which is what I'm most known for, um, is still the original, wow. hasn't been changed. It still is Christine Hennessy's original choreography. And that is what people appreciate. If they are used to this show, you're going to see a classic Christmas show, but maybe with some new people here and there, or maybe it's some, someone that you know, being that it is a lot of uh, local dancers. Remind everyone the, the plot of the Nutcracker, what it's all about. Well, um, it's, you know, a traditional Christmas story. Um, Clara has a Christmas party and her uncle Drossemeyer comes and he presents gifts, um, you know, some animated dolls. And mm -hmm. one of the gifts in particular is a nutcracker, which is given to Clara, which, um, you know, she grows quite fond of. And um, she falls asleep one evening and has a dream that her nutcracker, uh, you know, becomes a prince and takes her into a beautiful kingdom of the sweets. Mm -hmm. And it goes on from there. You know, she's introduced to every character, yeah. um, what they present to her. And it's just very magical, very family oriented. Mm -hmm. it, is a, it is a perfect family show, especially around this time of year. Like we said, with the snow falling, it really gets you in the mood for the nutcracker. Explain a little bit more about your character, because prior to coming on, heard she's she's got a bit of sass <laughs> yes um, unusually uh, my character is a little more exotic uh, mm -hmm. more sensual uh, I think it appeals more to the um, older <laughs> <Yeah>. crowd <laughs> but that's uh, nice there's a little something for everyone right. in this show Right, every age group it should uh, cater to. Beautiful. All right, well, we'll let you get ready because they actually have a special performance happening in just a little bit. We'll tell you more about that, and we'll hear from more dancers and see some performances, too, in just a bit. This holiday season, if visions of sugar plum fairies and gingerbread soldiers dance in your heads, you know that you are excited to see a classic ballet take the stage once again. Michaela is live at PPAC all morning with some performers for an exclusive first-hand look at the production of the Nutcracker presented by Festival Ballet Providence. Let me try this. Hey, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Brendan, thanks so much. We have a special treat for you. We're going to kick off this segment with a performance of Candy Dolls from the Party Scene.
precious like little dolls out there nicely done and Marissa I want to bring you over because you d deal with these kids a lot you're you're an instructor for I them am. and there are a lot of kids part of the performance. Yeah, we have about 100 uh, students from uh, around Rhode Island and Massachusetts mm -hmm. that participate in the Nutcracker cast. They audition back in September mm -hmm. and once accepted, um, they start rehearsals right away. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a pretty uh, magical experience for mm -hmm. all of the children. I mean, some of them come back year after year mm -hmm. um, as they graduate from one role to the next. Yeah, and they can start at a very young age. Yeah, they start at age seven. Our angels are the mm -hmm. youngest members of the cast. They're really sweet. Beautiful. And, and how long will they rehearse a performance like this? You said from September on. Yeah, from September on. I mean, usually, um, you know, an hour or two a week, mm -hmm. roughly. But, I mean, I train these kids... Um, two to three times a week, and they are still rehearsing in class time, I mean, in the hallways, whenever they have the chance, they just love it so much, and they want it to be perfect. So. And we love it, too. We actually have another performance for you. This is Clara and her friends. Enjoy. Oh. just a small sampling of what you can see when you come and enjoy Festival of Ballet Providence is the Nutcracker. We're not done though. We're going to speak with another dancer in just a bit. Now we are going to check in one last time with Michaela. She is live in Providence at PPAC for a preview of the Nutcracker, which takes to the stage tomorrow night. Hey again, Michaela. Hi, once again. Yeah, I know you were saying it takes a stage tomorrow night, but today there is a very special performance. And to talk more about that and her roles, yes, plural roles, is Louisa. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the costume that you have on right now and what you're holding. This is the Mouse Queen? Yes. So, of course, uh, there's a battle scene and um, Claire's Nutcracker comes to life as a soldier, but there has to be a bad guy, So, or in this case, girl. So I'm the Mouse Queen. The evil mouse queen. And your other role uh, is, a, is a more beautiful yes. one, one that people will, lo will love. Yes, so there's a beautiful waltz of the flowers. We all know the music. And um, not only is there the dewdrop fairy, there's two lead flowers that accompany her. So that is the opposite sugary, sweet, flowery, beautiful. Do you, it must be nice to take on multiple roles, right? To be deemed that responsibility and to have uh, two different parts in the show. Yes, it's um, so fun, you know, as we're artists and and we love the acting portion of the dancing as well and so it's really fun to play a sassy evil mouse and then switch to being just beautiful classical ballet dancer and you talked about switching and switching your roles and that actually happened with you guys i mean this was to show just how versatile the dancers must be yes um we had you know we've been rehearsing nutcracker for a while and we had a few last minute injuries with two dancers actually which is really sad for them but then everyone else has to switch roles and so right. i was doing snow and now i'm not because i'm the only mouse queen so um but the show goes on and we we yes. step into those roles really quickly the show goes on for some lucky kids who are actually uh, kind of filing in behind us right now a special performance there today yes i think uh, i speak for everyone in that it's our favorite show and the best audience we will ever have it's packed with energy when the kids come yeah you can see those school buses rolling in and not only is it packed with energy there are some really beautiful elements to your performance of the nutcracker give us a sneak peek as to what we can expect yeah so i mean nutcracker is all about magic so we have a magic christmas tree that grows over 20 feet tall it's spectacular we also have the snow scene um, has a set covered with Swarovski crystals, so it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, there's the little angels at the beginning of Act Two. They're hidden in the fog and holding candles. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is a beautiful show and and perfect for families. You guys will have multiple performances here, correct? Yes, that's the great thing about Nutcracker is we do a lot of matinee shows, so mm -hmm. it's perfect for families to come together 
kids aren't sleepy, they're well behaved, and, and just enjoy the show as a family. Well, we are definitely going to enjoy it, and we'll enjoy you as, although an evil mouse queen, I mean, so beautiful, right? <laughs> the, the jewels, the tiara, you've got it all. Thank you so much, and break a leg. Thank you. All right, you can see Festival Ballet Providence is the nutcracker here at PPAC. Like we said, plenty of opportunities to go see the show. Make sure you check it out this holiday season.